Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to increase the volume on your laptop's speakers running the Windows 11 operating system. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. First thing I recommend doing would be to go down to your system tray and select the speaker icon. Make sure it is turned up here. So again, that's the first thing I'd recommend trying. Something else I would recommend looking at as well would be to make sure your speakers are physically turned on. So if there's a power button, make sure they're turned on. And then if you're still having an issue, something else we can look into as well would be to open up the search menu. Search for a control panel. Best result, you should go back with control panel here. Go ahead and open that up. And you want to set your view by to large icons. And then you want to select the sound option. So go ahead and left click on that. Select the playback tab if it doesn't automatically take you there. And then you want to select the speaker output device you want to modify. Go ahead and select configure. And at this point, you go ahead and test your configuration and make sure it's working properly. But if you're still having a problem, you can go ahead and select the properties button instead. So if you try configuring it and it doesn't work any better, select speakers and then select properties. At this point, you can select the advanced tab. And you can try adjusting the default format here as well. So you may want to turn it up here for different quality audio. So again, something else you can try here. So you can turn all the way up to 24 bit, 190, 2000 Hertz studio quality. You can try modifying that. So something you definitely can look into. If you're still having a problem after looking into these settings, you can also attempt to open up the search menu. And if you type in troubleshoot, best match to come back with troubleshoot settings. Go ahead and open that up. Go ahead and select the other troubleshooters button. And then you want to select where it says playing audio and then select the run button. And then hopefully at this point it would give you any recommendations it should follow along with. And then you would just go ahead and make said modifications. And then you would just continue. So in my case, I'm just going to select no, but in your case, you probably want to select yes if you receive any notifications here. And it will list out whatever problems were detected, so that should definitely point you in the right direction regardless of the successfulness of this utility. It'll tell you what the problem is here. So pretty straightforward process, like I said. I hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.